So today we're at the English Dam Inglis, I N G L I S English Dam Recreation Area, Desi Smith Prescott Memorial, 10905 West Riverwood. Um, just got here. I don't know where the trail is. <laughs> By the way, this is the road you came down to get in here. I think it was called like Bushwood or something. And uh, there are still, as you can see, natural areas left in Florida. So it was a pretty drive getting here, maybe not on 19, but let's get going. So this is what it looks like right here. And here's the dam over here. And it looks like there's a sign over here. Now I wanted to show you there's a portage on, it's very clean. I always check for the bathrooms just in case, uh, you know, a lot of people ask me that question. And you've got three fishing uh, places. There's a guy fishing right over here. So I imagine that, uh, you see him sitting there? So I imagine the fishing is probably pretty good in that lake. But here's the uh, chart of kind of the area. Now if you see, here's the English Dam, which is where we are. And it looks like it says a bridge. So it looks like we're going to go across the dam and then hit this trail. It looks like, boy, you could really keep going. I'm going to just try to do about three miles today. But you can see there's a lot of, uh, well, here's, well, good Lord, we're near Dunlad and this Pruitt Trailhead. And we've done that before, Shangri-La. Uh, that's the uh, Florida Trail there. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, and then here's, here's the spillway. But I don't see any trails in there. With Lacucci Bay Trailhead. It's over here. I have, we'll have to check that out someday with Lacucci Bay Trailhead. And let's see if there's anything on the other side here to kind of show. You can see well, dogs must be leashed, so they are allowed here. I get that question quite often on the videos, too. I wish they had a bigger chart of what the trail looks like, but that's the best we're going to do. Let's get out here on the dam and get the next clip. Well, I wanted to get this on the video. I forgot to say that... Uh, this is the uh, launch. You do have a boat launch here for those of you with boats. And then down here it says uh, statewide largemouth bass regulation. And it's got a little chart right here. So legal to keep. Looks like 16 centimeters. Daily bag limit is five large. Boy, if I could catch five largemouth bass greater than 16 inches, I'd, I'd do a dance for joy. All right, let's get out on the dam. Well, this is different. Uh, if you have a boat, it says underwater obstructions, floating debris, operate boat at safe, slow speed, no water skiing permitted. Boy, I'd, that would boy, I wouldn't want to come here to go water skiing <laughs> and not be able to ski. So just letting you know. Let's try to get the weird stuff on the video. Why is a post with a top and a lock on it right there? Red post. If anybody knows what these are, let me know. <laughs> I mean, but here I wanted to give you a view of the lake. See the bird out there spreading his wings, drying his wings out. Or the reservoir, I guess I should say. Beautiful clouds today, huh? Check those out. I'm a cloud person, just like I'm a sunset person. Check out the bush too, around the the uh, pole here. That's a pretty cool touch. That's uh, to kind of hide the pole, that ugly old pole. But you can see that uh, it looks like we're gonna go right across the top of the dam. So that'll be cool. And then here's what it looks like on the other side of the dam. Looks like there's another parking area. Over there, I bet there might be some trails from off of that parking area. We'll get over there after we're done hiking and see what we see. Okay, I'm looking at that parking area. <clears throat> I don't see, maybe that's just, that's probably just another boat launch. I don't see any signs for hiking trails. So then you can get in below the dam. That would make perfect sense. So I, I'm sure that's another boat launch over there. And that's why that's there. But anyway, we're getting out on the, on the dam. We'll get, check the birds out. See them on top of the, um, the uh, buoy uh, warning sign there. Uh, let's see. So this is, uh, we'll get a view from right at the top of the dam here real quick and then, then we'll get on the trail. Let's check it out. All right, so I'll just get this up over top of the thing here. So on this side of the dam, we got a lot of those little posts in the ground. One here, here bunch up here more here going back this way no clue and they're all got blocks on them weird i got to get the weird stuff on the video got a lot of service vehicles in here today i don't know what's going on i guess they must be working on those power lines down there but this is a bigger map so we are here 
All right, at the English Bypass Spillway Recreation Area. And uh, there's the West Lacoochee Bay Trailhead. Uh, trying to figure out how to, what road that is. How would you get there? Well, I guess I'll just have to remember the name, West Lacoochee Bay Trailhead. And uh, we'll hit that next time. So it's a nice touch. You've got a portage on on this side. I'm assuming this is the trail. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, the Marjorie Harris Carr Greenway and uh, Dreams of Reshaping the Earth and Spanish Conquistador Pedro Mendendez de Avalis hope to discover an easy water passage across Florida over the next 400 years. National and local leaders fought secure to secure funding. Yeah, they're talking about the canal they were going to build. I'll let you read the rest of it. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's just get going. I don't know what the water truck's doing there. So here's another sign. Changing the face at the end of the 19th, prospectors and entrepreneurs flocked to Donellan, 10 miles east of here. They came to mine phosphate, a valuable ingredient in fertilizer. In just five years, Donellan transformed from a sleepy farming village to a boom town. Phosphate mining had far-reaching environmental consequences. Piles of mine waste changed the area's terrain. Steamships clogged the Withlacoochee River, heading for the Gulf of Mexico to meet seagoing freighters. Power in a boom town. I'll let you read the rest. Uh, I didn't didn't show you this, but uh, you do have a um, a picnic shelter there, and I think that's a horse. Probably not. You could water your horse there because he, here's a horse step up. I didn't see any sign talking about that horses were allowed in here, but I guess they are. So, all right. But I did want to show you the picnic shelter there. And you got a fire pit, I guess. Uh, you wanted to have a fire, but how in the hell are you going to get the firewood in here unless they unlock that gate? I, Maybe uh, you could reserve that picnic shelter and have them unlock the gate for you. But let's uh, let's take a yeah, see non-potable water. So not for human consumption. I guess it's good enough for horses, I imagine. Got some deer coming at me, and that looks there's a there's a sign right here. I'm gonna go as fast as long as I can to get them on the video. They're not moving. I'm surprised we're getting this close. And I'm, I'm, I'm upwind from them, too. They can smell me, for sure. All right. That was cool. There they go. You ever wondered, you know, when you look at stuff like this, and when I see deer, and they just disappear in there, how in the hell do they travel through the foliage like that? I mean, this is thin compared to some of the areas that I see deer. Seems like it just... They must have some tough, tough hides, because it seems like their skin would just get scratched working your way through there. So we came from kind of entering into the trail here. Lakes uh, to our right. Got a picnic table right here. That's a nice touch. Although, imagine in the summertime, that'd be kind of buggy. <laughs> but, and by the way, definitely horses have been back here. I saw the uh, saw the uh, horse poop on the trail. And then you got this right here to hang stuff on. And I don't know what this firewood's for. I mean, I don't see a fire pit. You know? I mean, I guess you could come down here and grab it and carry it back. To that fire pit that we saw but that'd be a unless you got some sort of you know four wheeler or something it'd be, be a long ways to carry some firewood <laughs> i don't know all right i take that back here's two fire pits right here firewood's way back there i don't know why they got it so far from the fire pit but i guess you know maybe a group of horseback riders could come back in here and you know set up right here i'm surprised they don't have a picnic table right here and uh but you know it'd be nice to in the evening to spend some time here and have a nice fire. So we're still just more or less hiking down a road by the lake, but there's a grill up here. And one thing I don't understand about Florida is look at this. Somebody's mowing all of this. That's a hell of a lot of gas. I Why not just let this grow in naturally and, you know, maybe mow it out to about eight feet to either side and maybe just, you know, cut in this little area right here. You got another fire pit over here, you know, so that you're not mowing this whole damn thing. <laughs> it would take, I, I bet it would take you, good God, well, look, at it just keeps on going. You, you'd be back here mowing for, you know, a couple of days. I mean, that's, th these are tax dollars that we're just pissing away, man. I don't know why they do this in the parks. So I'm just guessing, because you got the sign here with the yellow on it. I don't know if that's just another trail or that's a loop, you know, the loop, because it looked on this like on the sign, there was a loop coming out. So I'm thinking that's the loop. And here, you, 
here you have another picnic table i mean there's a lot of places to just kind of hole up and uh, have have a bunch of people back here i mean uh, I, I i would if i had friends with horses you know why not bring them on back here and just hang out for a whole day man so we made a left a ways back so it does has narrowed down a little bit but once again they're going to be cutting all of this i would just let this narrow down a bit you know don't, don't cut it this wide but uh whatever at least it's probably could probably get this in one pass with a wide mower but uh you can see not much to the trail just more or less going straight ahead great for horseback riding though but not not for hiking i like being more in the well we're deep in the forest don't, <laughs> don't get me wrong but i mean i like i like the feel of you know the trail winding back and forth and you never know when it's going to make a turn you know not just hiking down a road uh you know road more or less you know even though we're, we're deep deep in the forest Look at the size of that pine tree. Damn. I mean, just, I, you don't see trunks that thick. You just think that once upon a time, the United States had trees like this, especially up in Michigan, by the thousands. It's a shame we cut them all down. It's just more or less just continuing down the road. And I'll get to, I just wanted to show you that tree. So this is pretty cool. We're, now we're hiking through a swamp. So that's pretty cool. So it's a nice transition. Always a nice touch, a little sitting bench. I always try to show you those. We're not that far into the hike, but it's always good to bring along some picnic food, get a, got a place to sit down, get some water. Yeah, one thing I always hate here in Florida, and I'm not sure if it's true in other states. I, well, I guess it's true in some places, but yeah, they never mark, well, you know, on the sign when we first came in, it didn't say how long the trail is. So if this trail's seven miles, I'm not going to make it. I can only hike about two hours today. And that was another mistake that I made. I didn't make note of the time coming in. So I don't know how, how far, you know, because I can pretty much guess how far I've been by how, how many minutes I've been hiking. You know, when you're moving about two and a half to three miles an hour, you know, you can do the math. So, you know, if I have to turn around at two and a half, three miles, you know, that'll be it. And I just hate it. You know that you know you don't know if you're on a loop or this could, i mean this could go for miles and miles and miles it's just a dirt road here uh you know like i said when, when we were coming in it looked like the loop came out but i've been out here a while and there's been no turn to the left so the sun is still more or less to my left side so we've just been hiking in one direction so uh we're definitely not on the way back on the loop for sure but i'm going to give it another 50 minutes this way and then we're going to have, just have to turn around so we may not get this all in today next time i'm down this way i'll try to make my car appointment for an earlier time it's awful hard because this is a good almost hour and a half two hours from my house so you know you got to you got to get on the road pretty early and then the, the car dealer for whatever reason i don't know why you know all it did was an oil change and a tire rotation it takes them sometimes two hours just to do that even with an appointment and then you say, well, don't take it to the damn car dealer. <laughs> well, I like the fact that the car dealer enters into the computer so that if somebody buys my car, they'll have the car fix and the maintenance schedule of the car. And plus, you know the dealer, well, I mean, you don't know, but I mean, I trust the dealer to get things done right, even though they're more expensive than just an auto shop. I mean, if it was a, really just a used car, something was over here. Damn, I can't tell. Oh, something was moving in there. All right, let's just keep going for another 50 minutes. Just more of the same. I was just going to complain that, you know, when you listen to the radio, they never give you the time, and then they just said the time. <laughs> I'll be damned. So it's, uh, it's 5.03. <clears throat> you say, well, you can look at your phone and get the time. But yeah, that's a pain in the butt. You know, it's hard enough just making, making the video. So still just more or less hiking in the same direction. But we kind of broken out into a more or less open area. You know, no way you can get lost on this trail. I mean, it's funny because they have the markers. But I'm thinking, you know, I mean, I guess it's good that you got them. But good Lord, where else would you go? You going to hike through that <laughs> to get off trail? I mean, it's not like, you know, some of the the trails that you hike where you don't really know where the heck you're going. So we got something coming up. I'll get this on the clip. So you would face a dilemma here. And I am facing a dilemma. Because, oh, by the way, down here at the bottom is a, is a bench. 
I would put the sitting bench up at the top of the hill, not that, down at the bottom of the hill. And it was a nice one too, it wasn't all tore up, but look. So if I went to the left, in my mind that's taking me back towards the car. But when you look at the sign here, it's saying the blue trail to the right. I mean, unless I'm going to go all the way around the damn lake, it's going right, and now I'm going directly away from the sun, so that'd be going east. I, I, you know, maybe someday we'll come back. I'm going to follow the, the blue marker for a little while. Like I said, all we can do is hike back, and then maybe the next time we're back here, we'll take the left and see where that goes. So it was more or less hiking along a road, but you're kind of up on a ridge. I wanted to show you this as, as I hike along, because you can see how that vegetation is down a whole level. Kind of kind of weird for Florida, you know. Usually uh, in Florida, everything's <laughs> perfectly flat. So it's just kind of just kind of going on, but I'm still going east. So I'm gonna have to turn around here soon. That's quite beautiful. So let's get this on the video. We got some. I assume those are bird houses out here, and it's kind of getting that African safari look right along in here. And I'm wondering if this trail does go around the lake. I think that this is the lake over to the right. I'm going to hike over there and, and take a look. Because we're almost coming to the point where I'm going to have to turn around. So maybe, just maybe, this trail... God, God if it goes all the way around that lake, that's a big lake. <laughs> That'd be a fun hike, though. You know, it really would. That's funny as hell. I was just hiking over to give you a view of the lake. And look at here, there's a sitting bench. <laughs> But I mean, there's no trail marked to, like, well, there's a little post there. Maybe that used to be a marker to lead you to this bench. But see, here's the uh, lake. Not much of a view. I'll tell you what, I could have telescope this way up. I'm going to telescope it way up. And we'll see what we can get. All right, I think we're going to start heading back because we're making a left right here. Just came down there and we just got that view of the lake. Now I see a post up here. I'm just going to hike up and see if there's another kind of trail that goes on this way. Let's just take a quick look. I mean, obviously the trail's marked back there. So looks like you got something here. You know, if you wanted to come and just keep going by the lake you could follow that on down I don't know what that post used to be but I anyway, I'm gonna make the left up here because I can't be out here too long today I, can, I just don't like driving in the dark and uh, it doesn't get dark till 8 o'clock but it's gonna take me an hour and a half easily to get back to the car and then I got another hour and a half to drive home somebody said there's a lot of hiking here so the trails going that way and this is the the lake over whoa there's a chair down there. Let's go check it out and look here. I wonder if that, that might be the Whistlacoochee River. I don't know. That's a twist. I wasn't expecting that. Let's check this bench out down here. I'd miss that bird just by a second. He's flying over there. But man, I'm going to tell you what. I can definitely see me doing this trail the next time. And coming right here to this bench. I'm sitting here. Maybe bring something to clean it off. Now, why would somebody leave a can right there, assholes? But sit right here and read a book. And look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? There's a, and something swimming down there in the water. Boy, something just jumped. Wow, look at that. There's where the river, you know, you could see it flow it in. I don't know if that's the damn lake or not. Maybe that's a different body of water. I have no idea. Oh, big, big wasp. Oh. Time to get so just coming from the bench back there, beautiful view, kind of just hiking right along the river. Once again, trails well well marked. But the good news is, I'm going west. Go west, young man. Go west. So that means we're heading back. And uh, anyway, so uh, I did want to make a comment too. You know, this is the time of year. We're in the dry. Well, actually, we're in a drought here in Florida. We haven't had any rain. If I don't get a thunderstorm tonight, I'm going to, I hate running my sprinklers because, man, my water bill gets high. Because you got to water in for about 25, 30 minutes. 
and I got six zones and that's a hell of a lot of water <laughs> when we don't get any rain. But the reason I was bringing that out was this is the time of year to hike. Because, you know, I bet being in, I'm coming in a low land, you know, right next to the river. You know, if it's a, if you're in the rainy season, I imagine this would be a muddy mess, you know. Uh, along with many trails here in Florida, they're just, they become unhikeable when we're getting a lot of rain. I, I need to go back to Marshall Swamp the last time I was there. That was unhikeable. It, it was underwater, even though we had had some, a lot of dry weather, but not like this. I think we're, we're in a serious drought at this time. So more of the same. It's like I can by the river. Yeah, it'd be nice. I mean, I can understand it because of the erosion, you know, p problems. But you could build a, just a little kind of a seated tower along here so that you could, you know, find somewhere in the shade so you could just sit and get a good view of that river. You know, because if you cut it in, you would get the erosion. But anyway, it's just uh, more of the same. Still more or less hidden back. Thank goodness. So you do have a bench right here on the river. Not much of a view. <laughs> I mean, if you're sitting here, you're just looking at that bush right there. I imagine once upon a time they probably had a view. Wow, look over there. Looks like another park of some sort on the other side. Huh. Well, I'm glad I came up to the bench. All right. Just continue along. I just want to show you the bench. Now, oh, check out that deer. Cut it on just perfect time. Man, it's been a deer day. Wow, that was cool. What I was talking about, this is where the deer plunged in at. How the hell do they go through stuff like that? I mean, look at that. Maybe it was right here. I don't even see a broken twig. I don't see how they do it. Okay, I know what, what we did. All right, this is pretty cool. All right, so this is the, the, the water below the dam. So that was going out into something, that body of water back there. I don't know what body of water that was. We'll have to, maybe when I get home, get on the computer and, you know, bring up the map and see what, what's around here. But I think more or less, unless I'm mistaken, I think I'm just heading back to the dam. So, uh, well, it looks like we got two different ways we can go. I'm going to stay on the uh, the blue trail and just take this line back. I bet this is where those vehicles were coming from uh, when I said they were probably working on the wires. But you can see you could go to the left. I have no idea. So there's definitely... A lot of hiking around here left to do to, to take all this out but I'm, I'm ready to call it a day so i want to show you the difference in the elevation here there was another deer wow cut it on perfect <laughs> all right so we're coming up on something here and there's another bench maybe i wasn't looking at the dam i might have been looking at something else but we'll find out when we get up here all right i thought i was coming up on the dam but we remember when by the way there's another sitting bench back here but this is the uh, Inglis Lock. So I guess this is to bring boats up. I don't know what the lock is for. I mean, we can see the water level here. Usually lock means you're changing. Let's take a look on the other side. Well, you can, we can kind of go in here. Let's take a look. Okay, so yeah. So you got this here. By the way, it looks like a picnic area over here, so I don't think I'm trespassing. If you can get through that gate, I, I don't know if... We'll walk over there and take a look. But yeah, you see the transition, it goes down, and then the water goes way that way. I Well, there's the power line, so I guess I'm still heading in the right direction. So let's see if you can get through the gate. I, I'm just gonna find out. Wouldn't imagine, we, why not, why have, and of course there's another portage on too, which is good. Let's just see if they've got this. No, I see they got the gate open right here. Yeah, so you could go out there and get on those picnic tables, and it says drive safe, safely. So, yeah, pretty cool. So that's good to have a bathroom out here. Well, this is good. We got a, uh, a tra uh, trail map here. So here's where we are. We're at the lock. So we're heading in this, uh, well, I don't even know where, what direction. I guess I'm going this direction. We're gonna come around. We've got a, got a bit of hiking left. Uh, so look, we kind of did all of this. I think this is where we are. And we've hiked to here. Okay, because I'm on this trail. So then I'm gonna come up right here Oh, I don't know. I have no clue. And you can see that there's the red trail and the yellow trail. But I did want to point out uh, mountain bikes are allowed here. So if you're a mountain biker, this would be a good place to come and do some mountain biking. Check out the birds. I think those are, people call them Florida chickens. But I'm not sure. The Florida chickens have a longer beak, so these might not be Florida chickens. 
Well, there they go. Kind of beautiful, isn't it? You know, no wonder man wanted to fly for so many years. You, know, you see these birds, you think, man, what? I would love to do that. So here we got a bench. It's just, uh, we just more or less traveled up the lock. But that's a hell of a view right there. There's the bench and there's the view. That's pretty cool. Huh. That's cool. I don't know if this is the damned uh, water. I don't know if, uh, if it is. <laughs> I got one hell of a lot of ways. Because <laughs> I don't think that's the damn way up there. That looks like a bridge to me. This is where I hate hiking without a map. But I'm wondering if this road, because we just came up from the lock back here, goes back towards the dam. I don't know. I'll stay on the blue trail. Oh, man, I'm getting tired. I didn't want to hike this far today, but I hate turning back, you know? It's just, a, I get determined. I know that the blue trail is, it's a loop. It's got to take me back sometime, and I'm heading west. So, you know, that's, that's more or less the right direction. So anyway, let's just keep going. So I'm wondering if that view, I'm actually gonna walk that distance. That would look like a hell of a long ways. But let me uh, just comment on the trail. If you can call this a trail, you're just more or less hiking a, a grassy road. But man, I tell you what, you, I hope I don't regret not putting sunscreen because there's no shade on this trail. And on a hot day, I mean, it's, it's a hot day. It's, it's up in the upper 80s or even maybe got to the low 90s today. But it's, you know, it's later in the evening, or getting later. But uh, you wouldn't want to hike this trail without sunscreen and, you know, some proper clothing. Thank God I brought the uh, floppy hat here so uh, to keep that sun off my neck and somewhat off of my face. You know, as we're going west, it's still getting the, some of my face here. But just wanted to comment on that. I just saw two more deer. Sometimes, you know, they travel in packs. Wanted to see if we get one more crossing the trail. Oh, nothing. Well, this turned into a nightmarish hike. I, I am just beat, man. I, I, you know, I'm just moving along that uh, that canal. I'm, I mean, I, I kept keep expecting the trail to wind to the left at some point to take me back to the dam, but uh, I don't know, man. This was more than a bit off more than I could chew today. All right, we got another deer up here. Huh. He kind of moved off to the right. Bummer. All right, can you see them? Now we got a good view. Three of them looking at me. Let's see how close we can get. I'm downwind, so maybe we can get closer. He's coming at me. Oh no, now they're, now they're going. Check them. All right. Wow. You know, you, as, as crazy as it sounds, you wouldn't want to get attacked by a damn deer. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there was a hell of a story about a guy wrestling a deer in the back of a pickup truck that came back to life because he picked it up off the side of the road. It beat the hell out of him. So I don't know what this wall is over here. At least I'm not hiking down to that bridge. You can, well, I'll look, I'm pretty damn close to it, so that, that's going to tell you how far I've hiked. But, you know, got another bench right here. Of course, with the tree in front of it. <laughs> that ain't much of a view, but I could sure, sure sit down. And of course, we got a, maybe somebody's residence with some stairs coming down. But wanted to get you that view. Thank God we're turning to the left, which indicates to me, I'm guessing this section here may... Uh, Go, go back to the dam. Thank God, if that's the case. There's money in this world, and then there's money in this world. Look at that house, and see if we get a view of that dock. I mean, the dock alone is worth more than my entire house. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at that. Well, you can't see it. Anyway, if I get a good view, well, wait a second, we're coming up right here. Hold on. I think we're going to get it right through here. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Good God. Wonder where the boat is. Probably out boating right now. Maybe uh, people like to go swimming right here. But alligators are present along the trails and waterways of this park. 
usually eat fish, turtles, and other small animals, but they may attack larger animals such as deer, have been known to attack. Don't swim with the gators. <laughs> Don't approach fighting or feed them. I always love these signs. But yeah, I guess you could get down to here, do a little swimming on a hot day. I'd be tempted, I tell you what. So if you remember that sign, remember the blue trail went down and then looped back. So now I'm heading back east. Whew. Man, I tell you, this is one hell of a hike. I, this reminds me of that other hike down by the, uh, what do they call it, the architectural center where the uh, Indians used to live. And that's seven miles. I, I'd love to know how far this is. I'm trying to think. About, I know I've probably been hiking at least, well, it, it's, I'm, I know I'm going on three hours for sure, but it could be you know, getting up to four. Man, I'm moving slow now. Whew. Oh, what would you do? Here's another bench. Stay on the blue trail, going east, or start heading back this way on the green trail. I'm gonna take the green trail. I know that's probably stupid. It's always not a good idea to de deviate off of the path that you were on, but I think it, the worst that this, this would take me back to that water. And I'm, I'm, I'm praying that the dam has got, that's the, the lower half where the dam is at. So, so let's see if I'm right. So I'm on the green trail. That's a pretty view, isn't it? Man, praying, praying I did the right thing. I am really, really tired, but at least this is a pretty trail, I can tell you that. Just going to have to keep moving slow. I mean, yeah, this is where it's a disadvantage, being out here all by yourself, you know. I would have loved to, if I met somebody on a horse or a bicycle or just somebody hiking, I could have asked a question. I could have said, uh, hey, you know, am I at least heading back towards the dam at some point, you know? And they'd say, no, oh, you just stay on the blue trail and they probably could have told me exactly where to go. But now when you're out here all by your lonesome with no map, and uh, I do have a compass, but I'm just using the sun today. So I, so I know what direction I'm more or less heading, and I knew going east was the wrong direction. I think having the sun on my right <coughs> is the right thing to do. So anyway, let's just keep going. Now you come to another dilemma. Got a trail going this way, a trail going this way. I'm going to stay on this one. Anyway... After being on that road for so long, it's a welcome sight to be on a trail this pretty. You know, this is this is this is a hiking trail. I mean, it's a little cut and a little wide, but this is very nice, very nice. I love the the contrast. We're going through the saw palms and the pine trees and the oak trees, and you got it all here. I'll tell you what, if I wasn't so damn tired, <laughs> and wishing this hike to come to an end, this green trail is one beautiful trail. Look at this. I think, well, you could tell it's kind of horsey, though, in places, because uh, you got this deep sand. It's tough hiking through it. I'm hoping, though, if you remember on the way out, there was a trail that was coming up from down below, and this could be the end, I hope. Let's see what happens. No, that wasn't the end of the trail. <laughs> but the sun's still to my right. You know, it is amazing how long we've been hiking. I mean, other than the canal, there's no landmarks whatsoever other than the uh, the river. And, we, you know, of course, we hiked by the lake or, or on the dam there for a little while, but not a single person, not a single landmark, not a, ne never crossed the road. I mean, it's crazy. You could, I could be back here a long time. <laughs> Hope it don't get dark. Oh, this sucks. You got a little sign right here saying green that way, green this way. And you got a trail going this way with no sign. Shit, I don't know, man. I'm just going this way because this is, should be taking me back towards the water. Assuming, and the, road, the sun is to the right, my right hand side still. So let's hope we're going the right way. Got to tell a funny story. <clears throat> At least I know I'm near the water, which is good. But uh, anyway, I was here, and that's uh, obviously a boat moving along and I was thinking oh good I must be getting near a road or civilization or something because I can hear it and then I realized <laughs> it's just a boat on the water which which is good to hear because that means I'm kind of more or less hiking along the water assuming that I'm heading back towards the dam that's that's with the assumption here because from what I could tell you know eventually all the trails get back to the dam 
uh, unless you just keep going around in a circle. But uh, you know, you got to come there. And that's another thing. I wish they put signs on these trails saying, you know, you're got five miles to the dam or two miles to the dam or dam this way or, you know, the lock this way or something like that. Not a single sign on this trail. Nothing, man. You got to know your way around back here. Don't be a fool like me. Hope the camera ain't dirty. I took a spill back there. Thank God for the walking stick. I would have gone down hard. Man, I'm going to tell you what, getting back up again. <laughs> that, was, that was hard too. I was thinking I was going to break the walking stick trying to get back up. Anyway, uh, I'm still walking next to that uh, river or creek or whatever you want to say. And the sun is still to my right. So I'm thinking I gotta, gotta come to something sooner or later. My God, I can't believe it. I, I made a big mistake today, I admit it. I'm seeing a gap in the forest here. Let's see if, I, maybe that's, I will be able to see something here soon about where the hell we are. All right, my sense of direction was correct. And uh, we got a picnic table here. And if I'm, I think that's the dam right there, maybe. I don't know, there's a car driving over it. That can't be the dam, I think that's just a road. At least we're near something. I forgot to tell you about the spider. Luckily I saw him, he was, he was a little guy, but I tell you what, the little guys are always the more poisonous ones, from what I understand. But luckily I knocked the web down. I always feel bad about knocking the web down, but I, I'm not gonna go around it, man. You make it across the trail you're just gonna have to build a new web you know all right now now we're heading in the wrong direction i'm just wondering what the hell that is right there oh my god let's get somewhere well believe it or not we made it uh, seeing all these bikes and i'm like what the hell remember when we came out we went right past that portage john and kept going looky here there's a bike trail here Shit, man, I'll bring my bike next time and we'll get a bike ride in. Good God almighty, that was one hell of a hike. And thank God I took that green trail, huh? It brought me back to here. If I'd stayed on the blue trail, you know, we would have gone way up there, you know, in that direction and had a lot more hiking to do. Plus that green trail, by the way, you wouldn't want to do it after a rainstorm. It, there were some spots where it would be muddy, but it was quite beautiful. It was the best part of the hike. I just wish I hadn't been so tired and then I could have enjoyed it more. But we made it. Let's get on back to the car. You know, I summarized the day, uh, just a grassy road. Good hike, uh, man, long if you want to do what I did. And then make that turn onto the green trail and just stay to the right. And you come out here by the dam. But next time, well, and also we got to find out that there's a bike trail there. So that'll be cool. There's the car. So I was trying to think of that song. Remember, I'm gonna redo it. Life in the slow lane, fooled around and messed around and got lost. Life in the slow lane, there's the car, there's the car.